there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. This is the Monday morning edition of the weather video for December 28th, 2020. A cold front moving through today may squeeze out a few raindrops, but a strong cold front will bring rain and storms to end 2020 and to start 2021 on a wet note. Here's what I have for you today. Taking a quick look at what our expected low temperatures should be right before sunrise, we see that we will be ranging from the lower 30s in the southeast to the lower 40s in the northwest. Birmingham should bottom out around 39 degrees, while the state capital will be around 33 degrees. After that cold start, a weak cold front will move through the area on Monday that will be starved of moisture, but there may be just enough for a very light shower or a few sprinkles to fall over the area. Overall chances will be less than 20%. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the mid-60s across the area from northwest to southeast. The cold front will be well to our south on Tuesday, but skies will continue to stay partly to mostly cloudy. The good news is that temperatures will actually be similar to Monday's, reaching the mid-50s to the mid-60s. A strong cold front will be getting its act together west of us on Wednesday, but we will be in the warm and moist air advection out in front of that activity. Clouds will build and skies will be mostly cloudy. At this point, rain looks to hold off until the late night and overnight hours, so hump day looks to be dry. Highs will be in the lower to mid-60s. A deepening low will be moving up from the Texas Gulf Coast to start out on Thursday and heading in a northeast direction throughout the day. It will move across the Mississippi River around the Memphis area late into the nighttime. As it heads in this general direction, scattered showers and thunderstorms will form out ahead of the low. Unlike the previous few systems, we will actually have some instability over the area during the evening and into the overnight hours. Combine that with decent shear and helicity values, there looks to be the potential for isolated damaging wind gusts and an isolated tornado or two in any severe storms that may form. For now, timing is confined to the afternoon through the late night hours on Thursday, but that will be better refined as we get closer. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s across the area. The cold front will be exiting the area before we get to sunrise on Friday morning, the first day of 2021, as the low will move along the Mississippi and Ohio rivers to the north-northeast, eventually pulling the moisture out of the area around or before midday. Before that happens, we may still have a strong storm or two during the pre-dawn hours, but the instability will be dissipating, so the threat will be smaller. Much cooler air will move into the area throughout the day, and we'll keep afternoon highs in the mid-40s to the upper 50s across the area. High pressure will begin to build back in over the southeastern U.S., which will help to make our skies to mainly clear out for the first weekend of 2021. Saturday will feature a mix of sun and clouds with highs in the mid-40s to the mid-50s. Sunday will feature mostly sunny skies and slightly warmer temperatures, as highs will be in the upper 40s to the upper 50s. That will do it for today's video. We are on a one-a-day vacation schedule for this week, as James is on vacation. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'll have the next video out on tomorrow morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.